now. NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, I hope you're not eating dinner during that story because just looking at ticks, ugh, just gives you the chills, huh? Yes. <laughs> well, the other thing that we have to think about is the reduced air quality, especially mm -hmm. uh, for people that are a little more sensitive to that because it's, it's really reduced yeah, tonight looks and tomorrow. Awful. Maybe not have the windows open so much mm -hmm. overnight because the smoke will be with us tonight. In fact, this right here is the roof camera from here wow. in South yeah. Burlington. Can't see anything. Usually that's the nice silhouette of Mount Mansfield. You could maybe barely pick it out. Uh, it's changed a little bit in the last two minutes, but but uh, certainly that is the smoke that's been blowing into the Champlain Valley and for a lot of us from fires that are about 250 miles north of us. It's, it's uh, a region just north of Montreal where these fires are burning. So it's been all over Canada in the last three weeks, but this is sort of a new region that started not too long ago. Got a north-northwest wind at 18 miles per hour, and this is something that you don't see very often, an air quality alert for the smoke condition, and this includes all of us, even the western New Hampshire counties, down to Brattleboro, down to Bennington, for the reduced air quality through tomorrow. It likely gets a little bit better as we push into tomorrow, but look at the overnight into first thing tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. St. Lawrence County out by Watertown, that is very, very thick smoke near the ground. Less so for Vermont and the Plattsburgh area, but as you can see, it's still in the area, even though it, it kind of disperses through the day. So slow improvement expected as we go through tomorrow. Nice shot from Pam earlier today of the moon set over the Osable River. So the typical view of storm tracker shows what would typically be beautiful blue sky over the lake, but it's all messed up because of that smoke coming on down. Got a little bit of rain action too, mostly east of St. Johnsbury down into Grafton County. So these are actually clouds, uh, meteorological clouds in New Hampshire down into southern Vermont. But it's mostly dry through this evening. It's not till tomorrow afternoon that the rain chances pick up. Most of us in the 60s right now, it's a cool day. Just wait till you see what's coming, though. By midweek, it's even cooler. So the driest part of tomorrow is in the morning to about lunchtime, and then the clouds fill in, the showers bubble up. So we're favoring the afternoon hours tomorrow for the wetter part of the day. And then for Wednesday, it's the whole time with scattered showers. It doesn't rain the whole time, but the clouds and the showers will be around start to finish on Wednesday. Same deal as we go into Thursday. We're not really counting on much sunshine at all for Wednesday, for Thursday, or for Friday. So it is a long stretch here. Big upper level low overhead. On Lake Champlain tomorrow, it's a stiff breeze out of the north and northwest. The level of the lake continues to drop off. It's almost a foot below average with all the dryness. You could just see the brown grass in a lot of areas even. So cool weather for sure, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then we have a little bit of a break in all of this coming in for the weekend. So we put up the impact symbols there for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just because of the constant chance for showers. Not, not a washout, but just shower chances the whole time. Optimistic that it gets a little bit brighter and drier for Saturday and even a lot of Sunday. Temperatures up near 80 there briefly for the weekend, but then there's a whole nother showery system for next week.